This podcast has been named a Common Sense Selection by Common Sense Media, recognized for its outstanding content for kids and families. Assalamu alaikum. You are listening to Season 5 of Once Upon a Crescent, a Muslim kids podcast. And I am your host, Mrs. Hashmi, and I am so glad to be back narrating more original stories just for you. Your imagination is the most important part of my podcast. I'll tell the story and you'll see it playing out in your mind. Are you ready to turn on that big imagination of yours? Because I'm ready to turn on my big storytelling voice. Just kidding. This is my storytelling voice. Today's story is called Bindoha Needs the Queen. Bilu Khan paced back and forth in his territory waiting nervously for a visitor to come by. Bilu Khan was getting so used to the jungle animals stopping by and checking on him that when he was left alone for too long, it made him feel so lonely. There was only so much napping and eating that a tiger could do before becoming bored of the same old, same old schedule. Having the other creatures come by for a visit always sparked a joy in Bilukhan. He was starting to really miss that. Bilukhan walked over to the flowing river and laid near the water for a while. He hung his head low and stared at the muddy earth. He sighed, waiting impatiently for someone, anyone, to walk over to his territory for a friendly visit. (sighs) His eyes followed a familiar little ant on the ground. Bilu Khan's eyes lit up with joy. It was the same little ant who so many years ago brought him a yummy treat as a gift. And in return, Bilu Khan had awarded this ant a part of his territory. It's the same ant. Bilu Khan no longer felt lonely. He placed his furry paw in the way of the ant and the little ant abruptly stopped in its track. The ant looked up to Bilu Khan and exclaimed, Oh, assalamu alaikum, Bilu Khan. How are you? How have you been? Wa alaikum assalam. I'm well now. Earlier I was feeling a bit lonely, to be honest. Lonely? A mighty tiger like you felt this way? Wow, I would have never guessed. Well, the thing is, ever since I awarded my territory to you, I've been blessed with the company of friends. I've gotten so many visitors these last few years, it's been very nice. But no one has come to visit me in a very long time. (laughs) I'm upset that no one has come this way. The little ant crawled up on Bilu Khan and replied, Well, why don't you come with me? There are 50,000 ants in my ant colony. Let's see if being around that many ants takes away your lonely feeling, Bilu Khan. You can meet the queen ant, too. She's so lovely. I'm sure you'll enjoy her company. You're the king of the jungle, like they say, and she's the queen of the colony. So there's one thing you guys have in common already. You guys are like royal animals. The ant squealed in excitement. Bilu Khan smiled at this eager ant. It was nice to have someone around that was so cheerful, that's for sure. Bilu Khan glanced to his territory and spotted his meal from earlier. Mm-hmm. I will bring a gift. It will be a share of my meal to your queen. The little ant squirmed and hesitated. 
Um, well, the thing is, um, you know, <laughs> there's no need. How about we go straight there right now? The ant nervously rubbed her antennas together and looked around. Bilu Khan raised an eyebrow and grunted. <laughs> Not at all. If I visit, I will visit with the share of my meal as a gift. The little ant was lifted from Bilu Khan's paw all the way to his ear. She crawled on his enormous head nervously and let Bilu Khan take the lead. The mighty tiger took his time in bringing the share of his meat to the little ant's colony. The meat was on a heavy bone. The little ant wondered what her colony members would have to say. She grew worried about this whole situation now. Bilu Khan crouched down to the anthill and came at eye level to the mound of dirt that was this little ant's colony. Bilu Khan stared in awe. The busyness and rapid zigzag movements of all the little ants on this amazing structure was stunning to watch. Bilu Khan patiently studied the ant colony, observing the many ants crawling around in a speed that he'd never seen before, with a strength that he had never witnessed before either. <laughs> a speck of a creature like an ant holding the weight of something ten times its size on its back is impressive. Bilu Khan continued to observe in amazement. A few ants emerged, gathering around the bone with the meat on it. They crawled around it, they crawled near it, and they approached it swiftly before stopping suddenly. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Why does this thing smell like that? One ant commented. Ugh, where did this stinky thing come from? Another questioned. The tiny ant on Bilu Khan's ear rushed to the ground to those ants. She looked at them and communicated through her antennas. Speak good or be silent. Bilu Khan was too distracted by the colony's amazing activity level to even hear. He was in the company of thousands upon thousands of hard workers, some carrying food on their backs into the colony, some carrying building materials and twigs to the colony, and some carrying other injured ants back to their home base. <clears throat> Subhanallah, thought Bilu Khan. <clears throat> Allah provides for all creatures, big and small, mighty and tiny. He chuckled as he scooped up his friend. You are going to introduce me to your queen, remember, dear friend? The little ant laughed nervously as she nodded. <laughs> Bilu Khan placed the little ant back onto his ear and asked, <clears throat> Which side does your queen live on? <clears throat> Is she deep inside your colony? Does she ever emerge out? Does she look any different than the rest of you? Bilu Khan had several questions. He was excited to learn about another kind of creature so different from him. She does look differently than us. She is larger and the queen ant has beautiful wings. It's actually rare to find the queen outside. She spends nearly all of her time laying eggs. But, Bilu Khan, I think Allah has meant for you to meet her because today in particular, she is outside of the colony just over there. We might not be able to catch up to her before she crawls back inside. <laughs> if not now, then uh, maybe next time, yeah. I'll let her know you stopped by. <laughs> the ant quickly added. Oh, 
no, we will certainly see her before she goes inside. <laughs> I too am fast, you know. Biluhan glided his large body carefully to the other side of this huge ant pile. He slid carefully across the ground and kept his crouching position in order to be face to face with the one and only queen ant of the colony. Biluhan announced himself to the queen. Assalamu alaikum, I am Billu Khan. <clears throat> How are you, Queen Ant? The queen fluttered her beautiful wings in a friendly hello gesture and replied, Wa alaikum assalam, Billu Khan. The territory you so generously shared with my group has been perfect for our growing colony. Alhamdulillah. Billu Khan nodded and smiled. He took his meat that he brought with him and dragged it in front of the queen. He pushed it near her as his offering and gift. <clears throat> I have brought you a share of my meal this time as a gift. The queen ant's wings stopped fluttering and she backed away a few steps. A large group of worker ants gathered around the queen and in front of Billu Khan. The queen had to communicate to them through her moving antennas so that they would slowly back away. They gave room to the queen to continue her conversation with Billu Khan. Billu Khan was confused and he looked to his little friend. The little ant on Billu Khan's ear rushed down to the group of worker ants. Be good or be silent. Psst. Speak good or be silent. Speak good or be silent. Psst. Speak good or be silent. Bilu Khan looked to the queen who was getting ready to leave. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, queen ant. Did you like my gift? All of the ants in the colony froze in place. They totally fell silent. Their antennas became still. Their whisperings came to an abrupt stop. And they looked to their queen for her answer and reply. A gift given with such thoughtfulness is a gift to cherish and hold dear. I hold dear such kind gifts, Bilu Khan. Bilu Khan smiled. He lifted himself from the crouching position and called down to the colony. Jazakallah khairan for your company today. My little friend down there, come. I will drop you to the other side. The little ant finished communicating to the line of worker ants through her antennas. She repeated her message. Psst. Okay, I have to go. But remember, speak good or stay silent. Speak good or stay silent. You too, speak good or stay silent. The little ant ran off to Bilu Khan's paw. The worker ants moved away from the meat on the bone and scurried away towards the queen. One worker ant complained. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. What are we even going to do with a smelly thing like that? Another one chimed in. It looks weird. The queen raised her antennas high and turned to them to say, I would have preferred you to have taken and shown the advice of the Prophet wasallam, who said, He who believes in Allah in the last day should either utter good words or better keep silent. And he who believes in Allah in the last day should treat his neighbor with kindness. And he who believes in Allah in the last day should show hospitality to his guest. Billu Khan is both our neighbor and guest. And to honor him as such, I've accepted his generous gift. Please use the rest of the day to transport this food to a better spot. The queen left her worker ants with these instructions and returned to the colony. 
Billu Khan turned around to look at the colony once more, and to his amazement, he saw an army of little ants already eagerly lifting the boned meat up. The army of little ants carried it towards the colony. Billu Khan was grateful to have such wonderful neighbors and friends nearby. The type of neighbors that spoke good words and showed him good manners too. Thank you for tuning in to this story. To all my dear kid listeners, I hope this story reminds you of one way that you too can show good manners. Just remember the little ant's advice from the sunnah. Speak good or stay silent.